All right, welcome back, friends and family. Today we are hacking another lovable indie game called Ember Knights. Ember Knights is one of these great games to hack, uh, and we will be using one of our favorite programs, the Cheat Engine, which is incredibly powerful. Uh, and here we're just attaching to the process. Um, but like I was saying, Ember Game or Ember Knights is is incredibly fun to hack because it uses or it was written with unity which means it has mono in it as an intermediate language which allows cheat engine to decompile the mono which has this really nice effect of giving us high level class names uh and debug symbols that we can use to look around the game so awesome 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 stuff and first thing we're going to do when we get into ember knights here is we're going to look at this like meta file this this meta structure our save game file and this is just to visit our classic memory scanning techniques so here we're going to throw in the number of our ember we're going to do our first scan for a four byte value we see a bunch of hits pop up then we're going to buy some bullshit this value changes nine eight one three one one which we see right here and the reason we're doing this is because then we can browse this memory region dissect these data structures and we see this saved player slot that we get from our uh, debug data so this is really cool this shows us a whole bunch of meta information about our game so we see our game over count we see the number of runs that we've played um all kinds of stuff we see these these structures for abilities and we can potentially alter these abilities and add new abilities potentially ability tablets i don't know how those structures work so i haven't done any of that we have structures for new relics new relic unlocks and uh, obviously some of the stuff that we're interested in here is not gold spent in shop, but number of ember shards that we have. So we can obviously edit this to whatever. And this is the, the value that we just found and looked up. But we can edit any of this this information in here. um so we come back to the game by our first spell which is pretty sick okay so the next thing that i would really want in a game is god mode right the ability to play the game and not die and here we see we have our basic health values now originally uh when i was trying to hack this game i did the same thing i did memory scanning for that health value with that value with four bytes here uh but this turned out to be wrong because while this display value is a four byte value it's a pointer to a structure that is actually where the health is stored and in that structure um that's a float value and it it maintains a decimal and it just rounds it when it goes to display it to the user so i was totally off when i first did this scan uh, i couldn't find these values it was very difficult to find them for me because they were float values. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna change our max health around a bit and we're gonna scan for these float values and this will give us our max health. Um, and from the max health, we can find the structure that contains our current health. So we'll do that now. I'll just close some of this stuff, make sure we get fresh values and you can see we have a bunch of records here. Not all of these are what we're interested in. So we have to kind of like peek around and try and find it. See if we get lucky. We got lucky. So this is the structure we're interested in. It's called X health compare. Um, and here we have the values and we can just change these. And this is cool. This is like what we just did. Uh, it's like memory fixing. And we could now add our current health to the list. And we could lock this, we could fix this memory. 
but that's actually not that cool and instead what we're going to try and do is get true god mode so we've just attached a debugger and we're looking for what writes to this address when we get hit when we take damage <clears throat> so we load into our game here's some enemies we're going to take a little bit of damage there we go so our new health is 29 here we have one hit or something writing to that address we're going to show it in the disassembler and here we have our function x health compare dot modify health um now this function is interesting because this function actually executes whenever anything gets hit. So if we were just to do a return on this function, uh, unfortunately, we would mess ourselves up because not only would we give ourselves God mode, but we'd give all the enemies God mode. So instead, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do an auto assemble and we're gonna write a little if statement here um, to only give us, us God mode and not the enemies God mode. So we're using a template, an AOB injection template on this uh, move statement. And basically, here's where our injection's happening. It's going to call new mem, which is going to do whatever. And then here's the original code that we had. So our statement is going to be pretty simple. Uh, we are basically going to do a compare and here's RCX plus 20, which is our current health health value. And we can see that in the structure where RCX is pointing at this structure and then plus 20 does point to our current health value. So what we're going to compare against is this entity ID, which tells this function that the, the character that we're interested in is player one. Uh, or this entity ID one here. And this could be to separate different players or even to separate different enemies as they have different entity IDs. So what we're gonna compare against is RCX plus 18, which is the offset of our entity ID. And we're gonna say, if this is one, then uh, we're just gonna basically return, which will short the function out. Um, and, and give us God mode if it's one, if the character's us. But if this isn't us, then we're going to execute the function as normal and jump back to the normal code. So all we're doing is we're inserting an if statement here that says, if this object, which is entity ID, which points at whatever is getting hit, is one, which is us, player one, um, do nothing, just return. Otherwise, yeah, move their new health value into where they got hit. And what's neat about this is we're still getting hit. We're just not changing our health when we get hit. So there's still collision and anything that triggers when the player gets hit is still going to trigger. We're just not going to lose health. <clears throat> so we'll put this injection in, bada bing, bada boom, return to the game. And when you look at that, we get hit. There's, there's the damage we should be taking, but our health doesn't change, which is great because we can now, if we were just to do health fixing and we were to take like a massive attack, like 34 damage, it would technically kill us. But with this hack, we have true God mode and it technically won't kill us. Um, so that's freaking cool. I'm just gonna do uh, one or two more hacks that I found along the way that I'd like to show. So one of my favorite parts about uh, cheat engine in these Unity games is this mono dissector because you can just go through the classes and change the classes. So there's two classes that I discovered that were really cool. Um, they're in this game code. The first is enemy utils. And in enemy utils, we have a method. Oh, I gotta reopen this. In enemy utils, there's a method that I thought was going to stop the enemies from being able to target us. But instead what it does is it makes it so that their melee attacks don't actually hit us, uh, which is pretty cool. It was like partial God mode. It didn't work for the full God mode, which is why I still needed to go through 
and do the if statement on where we actually take damage. But um, it was a neat it was a neat finding. So I can show that now. And you have all kinds of stuff in here, like select, set collider callback, set attack rotation, all this cool stuff. And what's interesting about this is like technically melee attacks no longer hit us. So on hit effects no longer apply, like the, the activities don't clip, but there's still world damage. Um, there's still world damage. There's still spell damage, AOE damage. So there's still a lot of stuff that does hit us and does wreck us. <clears throat> trying to find uh, the function oh entity utils I should be in enemy utils I was in the wrong wrong class And there's there's a lot we could edit here that would really change the game. Um, the one that I had found that I just wanted to show was do attack hit detection. So if we were just to go to this and basically short this entire function out, uh, melee attacks would no longer clip with us. Like we no longer get hit, which is pretty interesting. We can still hit stuff, which is nice. And then, uh, just to speed the game up, another one that I found that I really like is now in player utils. Game code player utils. And it's also neat, like, seeing functionality that, like, I... I guess I haven't gotten a pet, or maybe I have, and I haven't really messed with this stuff yet, but it's neat seeing functionality in the game that you haven't encountered yet, like all this like pet functionality. So anyway, we have this function, uh, is ability ready? And if we, again, just kind of knob or return out this function, and we go back to the game, we can just spam our ability, which is insane damage. It's it's really better than cranking up any of the damage on the weapons. Yeah, here we go. So, how do I... i got to switch to the controller. But, it's just like game over damage. And you don't take hits now. So you don't take damage, and you just, you know, lay out massive damage. is explode things. And I'm just going to go to a boss just to show you how explodable things are now. What's happening? Oh, it's like some kind of shell game. Yeah, it's like imagine imagine if my guy cared anymore. Come on, there's gotta be a boss around here soon. There we go. So yeah, you just absolutely trounce things. It's like... Even healed off me. I thought I would kill him quicker. But that's it. That's uh, a little bit of Ember Knight hacking. Hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, please leave 
likes, comments, subscribes, whatever you will. See y'all.